Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Valley News Live at 6. Beautiful sunset across the region. This is a live look at our Luther Family Ford Sky Cam Network, where it's currently 13 degrees at Hector International. Feeling like one. We still got a bit of a breeze out there right now out of the northwest at 9, but that's much better than our peak gust at 45 miles per hour today. Currently in Moorhead, 12 degrees. Up in the Northern Valley, 7 with some light snow being indicated at the airport in Grand Forks. Wind is out of the north northwest at 13 miles per hour. That brings the wind chill down to 9 degrees below zero. Across our region, we're seeing a few single digits, especially up across the north in areas like Grand Forks and Langdon, but it's still mild in the James River Valley. 24 degrees in Jamestown, 23 in Oaks, 11 in Bemidji, 16 in Detroit Lakes at this hour. And the snow that we had across the Northern Valley earlier is on out of here for the most part, but we do have Another little system on its way, pushing into the oil patch of North Dakota. Even some raindrops have been noted in south central North Dakota, and that's going to be pushing our way, bringing us a few more flurries for tonight. So let's time that out for you in your hour by hour forecast. A few pockets of clearing, but we will be watching that area of some light snow. Good news is it's not going to come with a lot of wind like we had earlier. Temperatures dropping quickly by the 10 o'clock hour. Lots of single digits, still fairly mild though, down across the southern Red River Valley. By tomorrow morning, your morning lows will be the single digits on either side of zero. Coldest to the north, touch warmer across the south with even some teens possible. Areas like Ellendale and Sisseton. We do see a bit of a breeze pick up through the late morning and afternoon between 10 and 25 miles per hour out of the northwest. Not quite enough to whip around and blow that snow, but enough to create some areas of blowing snow where we got some fresh snow for today. Through the afternoon, we're not going to see the temperatures hover too much. We're going to remain in those single digits, mostly above zero. Before then, a warm front will be approaching, bringing a chance for some flurries or light snow late tomorrow night. So most of it will be through the overnight hours, but we might wake up to some lingering flurries in our Minnesota counties by Monday morning. Temperatures for your Sunday, again, mostly in the single digits. So colder than most of us were for today. We do have a warm up in the forecast, but first let's talk about our chances for snow. We're going to see an Alberta Clipper train. Not something we maybe liked here, but it means near daily chances of snow or even some mixed precipitation because we're going to see that warm up. The days we're watching right now specifically are Tuesday and Thursday for potentially more widespread impacts. Look at temperatures Tuesday. We are warming up into the 30s and that could mean Nishay, I see you dancing back there. <laughs> it could mean some areas of mixed precipitation. Cool down a little bit Wednesday chance for some light snow for the first half of the day. A chance for some snow or mixed Thursday. But again, look at those temperatures cool down again into Friday. Another chance of snow coolest by Saturday. Stick around more news coming up for you right after the break.